During nursing school, I switched over to the to go get my EMT and all that. So that's when I got my first taste in like the EMS world. And I saw how that was compared to into the nursing schools. You got more of the worst patients. Like you got them at their house where they're, they feel terrible and you're the first person they see. And when they see you, their eyes light up. And that's probably what made me switch from a nurse to a medic. Uh, I'm Sergeant Joshua Adams. I'm with uh, Charlie Company 3238, the medevac, and I'm one of the uh, medics. So the training you gotta go through for the flight medic for the guard is uh, you have to have your paramedic, uh, depending on if you go through the pipeline or if you do it civilian side like I did. I did mine through civilian side, so it took about nine months to get my medic. And then you gotta go to critical care school. It's probably about a three month course, but it's a lot more hands on and more into the critical side of things. Being a medic, it's kind of like one of those things, if you don't do it, you're gonna lose it. So being in this career field, I'm able to still use my skills. So when I go back to home to my civilian job, I'm not losing my critical necessities. So in the civilian sector, I work for the uh, city of Lima, the fire department. Um, I'm a firefighter paramedic there. I first got hired for the city of Lima in 2017. Within one week, I got deployed to Puerto Rico for the thing. So I spent 90 days down there. And then it's been an ongoing battle. I probably have only worked for them maybe nine months total in the three years I've worked there. But they're all very supportive, so it's actually pretty nice. Good place to work for. Um, being a medic is probably one of the most giving things I've ever felt like I've ever done. I don't know, I just feel like the sick, the wounded, the old, the elderly. Everybody needs help in their life, and usually you see people at their worst. And sometimes it's better just to bring them up when you can.